kayakers ride the king tide through the parking lot at Portsmouth's Dinnerhorn Restaurant. Homes in the city's historic south end appear to sit on top of the back channel. From Portsmouth and communities along Great Bay to Seabrook and Hampton, where the marsh looks like a bay at king tide, locals get used to it arriving a few days a year. A lot of it has to do with planning, knowing when you're going to not be able to get to your home and plan accordingly and, um, you know, have a good strategy. But experts call sea rise inevitable and say by 2050, a one to two foot rise like the king tide will be the norm every day. This is really providing a view of what the future is going to be like uh, 20 to 30 uh, to 40 years from now. The vulnerability may not be so apparent on this quiet October day, but... If you combine that with a storm surge or with other types of activity, even just high winds, the level of flooding increases dramatically. Many now planning ahead. There's a lot of cinder block foundations that are, are starting to crumble. So people are coming in, what do I do? What's the best option? Hampton's conservation coordinator encourages builders to go higher. Greater distance that they can get above and allow those waters to flow through and recede, um, the better they're going to be. Communities already looking at which roads and retaining walls to raise, which areas are most vulnerable. It's a overwhelming task, but if we take it piece by piece, um, you know, I think we can make some strides to, to be able to handle it. This Friday, the Coastal Risk and Hazards Commission will be approving its final report. That's three years in the making. It will provide detailed information for the seacoast and the state and all these surrounding towns for how best to prepare, working with information to make sure that we can preserve our economy, our history, and our culture. Reporting live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.